you look for yourself online, what do you look like? How are you going to get found by people who are searching for your services? That's right. And what if you don't like what you find when you search for yourself? What do you do? Hi, I'm Charlie Seymour, Jr. And I'm Dr. Mark Koss. And thanks for coming to this question and answer video. But make sure you stay tuned to the end because we have a very special offer for you that you want to check out. We certainly do. So go ahead and watch. We'll see you in the end. So when somebody does search and they're looking for you, is all the content current? If not, what do you do to get current content out there? And why is that important? Is yeah, it's real important. Uh, currency is more important than something being, you know, currency is currency. You know. Yeah, currency is money. Yeah, you want to get things that are current. Um, obviously, if you're dealing with last year's information and that's surfacing and it's at the top of your search results, you're going to look kind of foolish. I mean, I love when I go to a site, and this actually happened fairly recently. Somebody was um, um, a Facebook expert. And they were talking, and they were just telling you how great they were on Facebook. And they said that Facebook, you know, is all is already up to 200 million visitors. Right. Well, it's got, you know, about 600 million when we're recording this. Yeah, 700 million, I believe. You know, it's coming up on. So you know, you, you look at it, you say, oh man, this is just. Meant. So you want it to be current, an important thing. If it's not, we want to put additional content on there to move that content back. And that's the whole point. I mean, yeah. the, you know, people have joked that the internet is a bit like a grocery store at this point. Just about everything that's out there has a sell-by date. Uh, and in order for things to be noticed on the web, there has to be rollover. There has to be constant change. I mean, Google does not re-index every single website every single day. Uh, and they have a pretty sophisticated algorithm, as all the search engines do. They're looking for the most relevant current information when somebody searches. Right. They don't want to send them to yesterday's information as much as possible. So you, people will stop using them and stop paying for their service when that's right. the case. So even if you've created the, the greatest masterpiece article on a particular topic, and even if that topic really doesn't change over time, uh, Google can't tell that, and so if someone else is blogging regularly on that topic, you might be asking yourself, why is my great paper that I put out there two years ago really not showing up on page one anymore, and this other one that's clearly not as, as detailed as mine or as complete as mine is not is showing up there? Well, that's the way the internet works, so you can't really argue with it, you just have to understand it and work with it. So it makes sense to go back and take even content that you've already published and rework it and remake it fresh. So you take an article you wrote last year and now you take a section of it and put it out as a blog post uh, with some updating, some new piece of information. Right. That's what keeps it current. So that, that, there's no way to magically make it current. You have to make it current by putting out new content all the time. Exactly. Is it a lot of work? Yes, it's a lot of work. Wow, you were pretty good in that, Dr. Mark. You weren't too shabby yourself. Well, thanks very much. And that was one of 25 questions and answers that we have for you. That's right. We spent a whole lot of time. We really want you to get found online. So we went through 25 of these. This was just a sample, and we want to give it all to you. Well, where can they come and get all that information? Well, getfound101.com is the place to go. Sounds like a smart idea. So join us over there, getfound101.com, and get all 25 of these, getfound101.com. Thank you.